Okay, so we have a uh, DV6000 special edition. You can tell it's white right there. So what we're going to do is take and reflow this system, uh, same as we've reflowed them in the past. Um, we didn't go through the whole disassembly process or the diagnostics. We've done that a hundred plus times with these systems. But what we will do is we'll reiterate some specific facts about these units. We can see that there are some telltale fuzz sticking out the side here. And what happens is uh, you have to take these fans apart. One handed it's going to be uh, pretty hard but you have to take it apart and clean the inside of the fans. That's uh, one important part. Another important part is this crystallized uh, aluminum and thermal compound that's on top there for the CPU that needs to be uh, cleaned and replaced. Now what we do is we put Arctic Silver on there and replace it out. So those are two important things. Another is to check the memory. Now we notice that this system has uh, 512 RAM in it on both slots. So 512 DDR2 doesn't go as bad as one gig sticks. So that's another thing that we have to check and make certain of. And then the last portion is there is a chipset underneath here. That chipset needs to be reflowed also. Most people only reflow one chipset and fail to reflow the second chipset. So these are just some things to keep in mind when you're doing these systems and you're processing them out for repair. Uh, we have that chipset right there. So we have to take that wireless card out to get to it. So what we're going to do is start prepping this system and then go from there as far as uh, getting everything set to uh, reflow it. So in the first part of prepping our system for uh, repair, we have taken the fan assembly out. We noticed that it is a little bit dirty, but on the underside, the uh, fins on the heat sink are the most supported parts. So those are the portions that we need to clean. And no amount of blowing air and stuff in there will clean that out. So you need to uh, actually take the system apart and clean that out and then move to scraping this off and prepping it. So that's what we'll do next. We'll clean those out and then prep that pad and show you how we do it as far as what we got going on. Okay, so we've moved away from uh, the actual prepping to put the system on the actual machine and begin the uh, reflowing process. So that's what we're going to do now. Atypical standard reflow, uh, same settings, temperatures, and distances as uh, displayed in the videos before. And we'll just uh, let it go and do its thing and then we'll finish the prepping and everything as far as that's concerned and get the system put back together and test it. Okay so we've completed the uh, prepping of the system so what we did was we cleaned the uh, thermal paste off there and then we renewed it with Arctic Silver right here and then we took uh, reball film and we cut it out to the specific diameter of the uh, heat pad here and so that's what we've done. We cleaned up the uh, intakes here, the fins, uh, cleaned the uh, TIM, and then uh, redid the thermal compound here. So we're ready to mount it and test it and see where it goes. So that'll be the next thing that we do here in a second. Okay, so we've got the uh, HP up and running. And it's been running for a while. We're in the BIOS, so we can see... Um, the screen here with all the stuff running on it so we know that it's good it's good to go everything's uh, running it registers the memory and um, we know that uh, you know it's doing what it's supposed to do so we're gonna let it run and do what it needs to do and then we'll uh, turn it off put it back together and uh, call it a complete system as for right now it's it's finished, so um, we'll leave it at that.